Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show you how I create and partition my um additional disk space it's Windows Drive. Okay. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, if we come to our file explorer, how to get to file explorer, you could just type file explorer. You click on this, okay? It's already open for us. And you go to your this PC. You go to you click on this this PC. You realize that I have 947 gigabyte left and I have used 902 gigabyte already. Okay. So what I want to do is to create additional disk drive here so that probably I want to be saving some important documents on that particular drive and leave this one for maybe normal installations of apps on the PC. Okay. So let's dive into that. What do I do? First of all, I have to come to here, this search bar. So by the way, this is um, the same method. You could use this on Windows 10 or Windows 11. My PC is Windows 11. So if you want to search to bring up your run drive, you have to go to search button and click run. R -U -A. You've seen this app. You can see this app. You open it up. Once you open up, open it up, you type disk management. I hope you can see this very well. Disk management, that's disk mgmt dot msc. You need to type this and you click OK. So it's going to take you to this folder called, this window called disk management. In this disk management, you could see our C drive, which is NTFS healthy right healthy in the sense that it has enough memory to accommodate most of the things we want to install and you have another one called zero partition one the zero partition two which is this which is this okay so which is this healthy this we're going to leave this this has 100 mb and this one is the c drive this is the one we want to shrink and partition and create out another drive from it okay and you see another one called um, called Healthy risk recovery partition. We are going to leave this. We're not going to use this. So we're going to use this one written C at the top. Okay. So what we have to do is we right click here and choose shrink volume. So this is going to take time depending on how fast your, your PC is. Okay. It could take between um two to three minutes but because my pc is relatively new because i just purchased this uh, pc and i want to start keeping everything in place clean in place you know so that's why my own is so fast so as you can see it's already out okay and it's showing me that i have my total amount of megabyte space available is 91,844. Okay, which I have and more. Okay, so what I have to do is to I click on shrink. So it's saying you cannot shrink a volume beyond, beyond the point where any unmovable files are located. Okay, so what we have to do is I have to choose, I have to select, like I have this, this one free. Okay, so I can choose maybe. 5,000. So let me just take 5,000 out of what I have here. So 5,000 means 5 gigabytes worth of space. That's what I want to create. You could choose 10,000 because you already have up to 91,000. So I want to keep it simple. So I'm choosing 5,000. Okay. And you have to click on shrink. Okay. So, like I told you, it's very fast. My PC is fast. It could take time in your own PC, but my own is fast. That's why everything is happening speedily because I acquired this PC newly. So, as you can see, we now have, before it used to be this, this, and this. Now, I've been allocated up to about 5,000 gigabytes. That's 5 gigabyte space. Okay? So, 
I've been allocated up to five gigabytes um, space. So this which is this. So let's go to our format. So what we have to do is to format it. So we need to format this disk. So now I have created this new volume. So the next thing to do is to format this space so that a new disk will be created. So how do we do that? You simply right click on this and select new simple volume. So this wizard will come up. This new simple volume wizard will come up. And uh, the next thing you have to do is to click next. This is the volume that we're actually trying to format. You click next. Leave this as it is, or if you have, maybe you already have a space, a big space that you've labeled the, you can simply change this to a different alphabet. If you don't have, I will advise you to just leave it because we already have a C drive, so it's good to have another one called D. But if you already have another D drive, you could create E drive, F drive, and so on and so forth. So we'll leave this D as it is and simply click next. So we already have this. Don't please do not select FAT32. You need to leave it as NTFS as it is. Okay. And you click next. You click finish. You see our new volume has been created for us. Now let's check it. Let's go to our file explorer. This is a file explorer. And let's go to our this PC. As you can see, we now have five gigabyte what of disk already created for us so anytime you want to save maybe something special or something that you feel that have more volume you could simply save it here thank you for watching if you're enjoying this uh, tutorial please do not forget to subscribe to our channel continue to follow our page continue to leave your comments below and we'll be bringing you more and more video tutorials thank you so much for watching